Hi everyone, my name is David Cornell and I am part of the field engineering team at Canonical. So I'm going to be showing you in this demo how easy it is to get started with GPU and MIG in MicroCates and also how MicroCates can run on platforms like the DGX, EGX and even on the NVIDIA Jetson. So to get started, this is a, this is a DGX100 machine that has uh, 8 A100 Tensor Core GPUs and it's running Ubuntu 20.04. Also, we have to make sure that we don't have any NVIDIA drivers uh, currently loaded. So you'll notice that I don't have any NVIDIA drivers uh, in, the, uh, in the install packages here. And if I look at the loaded kernel modules, um, I don't have anything that's NVIDIA related. That's, this is what we want because we will be using the GPU operator um, when, we do, when we enable the GPU in microcates. Uh, the latest version of MicroCates just grabs the GPU operator from NVIDIA and loads that, and it's that operator that will actually load the drivers here. So no NVIDIA drivers, and I also have to make sure that I, that I don't have any uh, Nouveau drivers. And I did that by simply adding the uh, ModPro Blacklist Nouveau, uh, Nouveau Mode Set 0 in the um, Etsy default grub, and I uh, ran update grub and I reboot it into that kernel. Another thing I need to do is to install the CUDA repository. So to do that I grab this these instructions from the NVIDIA website and I just want the CUDA repo install. I don't actually want to install CUDA or anything uh, that's NVIDIA here right here. Um, so So these are the instructions I ran. And this will just add a, a local repository inside your uh, your local system, and that's where you'll grab your packages from when you when you apt install uh, packages, uh, Nvidia packages. So run you can run all these steps, but skip the last one here because we don't need CUDA on the system. The one package I do need is the Fabric Manager. So make sure to install the Nvidia Fabric Manager 460. If I look at the at this uh, package, we see that it comes from the um, from the, the the CUDA repository that's uh, locally installed on this machine. So this will match the driver from the GPU operator. But now, if I look at the actual systemd service installed by this package, I'll notice that it's uh, it's not currently running, and that's what we want. Yeah, because we can't run it because there are no. NVIDIA drivers currently loaded. We just need the package to be installed and it will enable it once we uh, load the, once we enable the GPU in MicroCates. Okay, so we're ready to get started. To install MicroCates, you simply have to run sudo snap install MicroCates. And we do need to use the latest, um, the latest uh, 1.21 beta channel. This is where we, this is the first um, uh, release of MicroCates that has the GPU operator. Um, so we want to use that currently in beta. And we also have to specify the classic flag to install MicroCates. So this takes about a minute. I'll uh, pause the video and I'll resume once MicroCates is installed. And then we'll we'll look at uh, what we need to do next. Okay, so that took actually less than a minute. And this is what's so great about MicroCates is that with just this one command, you get a Kubernetes environment uh, locally on your machine, whether it's it's your laptop or in, in this case, an NVIDIA DGX A100. And we can already start using kubectl commands. So you, if you want to interface with the MicroCates, you just need to prefix that with microcates like this. So if I do a um, uh, get pods, I'll see, you know, the pods that are currently running. The next step I want to do here is actually uh, is enable the um, DNS. You don't usually have to do this. Um, if you enable GPU, it'll, it'll also enable DNS. But I do need to specify a specific DNS server in this environment. So that's why I'm going to pre-install, pre-enable the DNS here by specifying the DNS server I need. Okay, so again, I like to make sure that every the pods are running. So we do see that uh, core DNS is running. 
I also uh, need to make sure that the um, NVIDIA Utils package is installed. Um, I, I installed that as well earlier. Uh, this will allow me to run the NVIDIA-SMI command to interface with my, uh, see my GPUs in the system and enable MIG and, and so on. So just make sure that you have that. And we're actually ready to install, uh, enable the GPU in Microcates. So I just want to show that right now, before I start, I don't have any NVIDIA drivers. By running Microcates enable GPU, this will um, load the, uh, the, um, the, the system here. Also, what I'm going to do is I'll run a second window right here. And I want to... I want to actually watch the. Um, I want to watch this uh, LS mod grep Nvidia command because I want to know. I want to watch LS mod grep Nvidia because I want to see when the Nvidia drivers are loaded. And here we're actually ready to install microcates. Uh, the enable the GPU. I mean, so I can microcates enable GPU. And this will pull the Nvidia GPU operator, and will. Um, install it on the Microcades cluster with uh, Helm, and I can just watch the um, the the pods. So I can do a m w Microcades kubectl get pods like this, and I can actually see the the GPU operator and the um, Nvidia daemon set plugin and and all of these uh, pods come in. And as soon as the Nvidia driver will be loaded. I'm going to want to um, go and enable and start the fabric manager uh, because otherwise uh, the um, the GPU uh, some some of the pods here will fail. So uh, it's uh, if I don't do it, uh, it's just going to fail. And then uh, you know, so as soon as the mo module uh, comes up, I, I will break that uh, watch and I will enable the NVIDIA fabric manager. Okay, so the modules are loaded. So now I want to enable, I want to run systemctl dash dash now enable the NVIDIA fabric manager. And now if I do a systemctl status of that, uh, that service, I see that now it's running. So this is a necessary step for the uh, NVIDIA, for the GPU operator to work well, uh, specifically on the A100 uh, GPU with the uh, the MIG uh, capability. On other uh, machines, like with the T4 GPUs, for example, uh, that step uh, is not required for the NVIDIA Fabric Manager. Okay, so this is, this looks complete. Um, I have the even the GPU feature discovery pod, which will uh, add some uh, some flags and some information in the, inside the um, the node uh, inside Kubernetes. So if we break out of this now, I can do a microcates kubectl get nodes, and if I do that in YAML format and I just look for the for GPU. I can see a lot of information about the GPU, and I even see that I have a GPU count of eight. So this makes sense because I do have uh, eight GPUs in this um, in the DGXA100. Uh, however, uh, we're not currently using MIG, so we're not doing any partitioning of the GPUs, uh, and so that's why I only see eight here. If um, if I do NVIDIA SMI, make that a little smaller. I can see the eight GPUs. This is just plain old the eight te, the, um, the eight uh, Tensor Core uh, uh, A100 GPU, and I even see you'll, the so the disabled here uh, shows you the MIG uh, status, the MIG mode. Uh, so you see that it's disabled on us, on all these uh, these GPUs. Uh, so we really have eight, and that's what the um, microcates. Uh, what, that's what the Kubernetes uh, labels, the node labels, uh, see. So this makes sense. Okay, so now we're going. We're gonna go ahead and enable MIG multi multi instance GPU. Um, so by default, MIG mode is not enabled on the NVIDIA A100. Uh, so and that's what we're seeing here. Uh, 
you can enable it on a per GPU basis, but for this example, we'll just go ahead and enable it for all GPUs. Uh, there's actually two or two or three modes of um, there. There, I'd say two modes of uh, of MIG that you can use. Uh, the strategy in Kubernetes, uh, the the uh, single um, is is what we're going to use because that's what the uh, that's what the enable GPU add-on in microcates um, is configured as. Uh, I get because I, I believe it's just the default that uh, that comes with microcates. So that's the strategy we'll use here, the single strategy, uh, meaning that we have to enable MIG on all of the GPUs and we have to partition it exactly the same way. Um, that's what the single means. That we're just we just have a single partitioning scheme across all the the MIG uh, devices. So to enable MIG, I'll just clear my screen. We just need to um, run NVIDIA SMI again, but I want to say MIG and one to enable it. So it enables it for all the GPUs. Uh, however, if I look again. Um, I'll see that it's enabled with a asterisk, just meaning that it's pending um, a reboot or a reset of the GPU. I find it easier to just uh, go ahead and reboot the system to uh, actually enable it. So that's what I'll uh, go ahead and do. Um, and I'll pause the recording. And uh, once the system is back up, we'll look at, uh, at this uh, output. And then we'll be ready to create the, um, the, 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 the MIG partitioning and we will try to see if we have a count of uh, 16 GPUs instead of 8 inside the, uh, the, the, the nodes labels. So I'll go ahead and reboot and uh, pause the video. Okay, so the DGX A100 has rebooted. And now if I look at the NVIDIA SMI output, I see that the, I'm just going to make this smaller again, I can see that the MIG state of all the eight GPUs is now enabled. But like we said, we still can't use MIG yet because we haven't uh, partitioned the, uh, the, uh, the GPUs, so we don't have any MIG devices here. So let's go ahead and do that. So now I want to list the GPU instance profiles. The NVIDIA driver provides a number of profiles that we can use um, when we configure the MIG features on, in the A100. Uh, those profiles are the sizes and capabilities of the GPU instances that can be created by, by the user. So if I want to take a look at those, I can do a NVIDIA SMI MIG and I want to say LG IP like this. And I can see, I'll make this uh, yeah, I can make this much smaller, but um, so we see all the um, the different uh, profiles, uh, the possible placements, and now we th these were the profiles. Then we want to see the actual uh, placements, so I can do that with uh, LGIPP like this, and I see the different placements that I can use. So if I go up and I look at the an example of the the three G. 20 gigabyte this um, this actually go this actually splits let's go ahead and see the header here so if i look at the mig 3g 20 gigabyte we see that it would create two instances uh, out of one gpu um, one gpu is 40 uh, gigabytes so if we have slices of 20 gigabytes we're going to end up with two two gpus uh, that we can use two, two gpu slices meaning the eight um, gpus on the a an a100 will actually show up as 16. so we want to use the the 3g 20 gigabyte profile uh, which is also uh, id9 so to do that i want to actually to do sudo nvidia smi mig and i want i say i want to create a group uh, instance a gpu instance and I can specify the ID9. I don't think I have to specify uh, both like this, but I, I'll do it anyway. So I'll just use the pro place the, um, uh, the the ID and the name like this. And we see it creates the GPU slices on each GPU. So now if I go ahead and I list the available GPU instances, I can actually see that I have two slices for each GPU. 
And if I just run the NVIDIA SMI, I'll make this smaller. But I can actually now see the original eight GPUs, but I see that it's been split into MIG devices, and we now have 16. Okay, so now that we uh, split the... Um, now that we created the MIG devices, um, I can now see that the uh, the, con the pod that was in crash loop back off is now uh, running. And uh, if I look again, um, the GPU feature discovery is also running. So now we're um, we're uh, all all good. And if I do a micro kates kubectl get nodes uh, yaml and I grep for GPU just like before, we now see that we have uh, 16. Uh, GPU instead of 8. So we could have used the uh, different profiles. Uh, we can split the uh, the uh, GPUs in um, in more than just uh, two slices. We can even split one GPU in seven slices, meaning we could have up to 56 GPU slices in this uh, in this Kubernetes cluster. And now that the features have all been discovered, I have all my information here. And uh, yeah, I see the uh, the uh, the CP the 16 GPU count, man. That's it. So that's how easy it is to use GPU and MIG on the DGX A100 with microcates. And now that we've seen the uh, microcates running on the uh, DGX A100, um, I wanted to show you that we can also run microcates on other devices. Like this machine here is a EGX uh, server. Uh, Right, let's just install NeoFetch quickly. So this is also a Ubuntu 20.04 machine. It's uh, just a ProLiant uh, DL380 Gen 10 server running with a GPU, uh, an NVIDIA T4 uh, GPU. Um, this, is, um, this, is e this is an EGX certified system. And previously, I uh, just uh, installed microcates and I ran microcates enable kubeflow and it just you know, just like that, installs Kubeflow on the uh, the machine here, and so it took about uh, six seven minutes, and uh, and then it just said uh, that Kubeflow is now available, and I can access this uh, this uh, web page and log in with the, these uh, details, and I get access to a, a Kubeflow uh, server. Now, if I open that link, I get the Kubeflow login. And I can just log in with the uh, in credentials here. And just like that, I have a notebook, uh, a Kubeflow um, notebook uh, that I can uh, start using, and a Kubeflow server, I should say. And I can just, you know, browse it and use uh, create a new uh, server. And so this is this is Kubeflow running on a EGX. I could also have run uh, Kubeflow on the uh, DGX. But I'm just showing you uh, the, the possibilities here. So this is Kubeflow running on microcates on the uh, EGX machine. And the last thing I want to show you is uh, this is a NVIDIA uh, Jetson machine. So this is a Jetson uh, currently running Ubuntu 18.04. This is an ARM64 uh, architecture. Uh, so um, I have installed uh, microcates as well. So this is really cool because we can use microcates on the ARM64 architecture. So if I look at microcates uh, running right now, here, I I also have the the same core DNS uh, services, and I also have a, a TF serving that I have from a previous example that was serving a TensorFlow um, uh, example from the Financial Time Series example. Um, that was running uh, previously on the EGX as well. And so there you have it. By running microcates on uh, Ubuntu, we can we can have a standard platform, a standard Kubernetes platform, easily installable, where you can easily enable the GPU and also easily enable other add-ons such as Kubeflow and, uh, and, you know, work with Kubernetes across all the different platforms. It's so easy now to use uh, the GPU slices in Kubernetes with microcates on Ubuntu.